Hey everybody, welcome back. Unboxing time. Mary's here. Hello. And we're here to open up our November 2018. We're finally into some November boxes. <coughs> Video games monthly. Excuse me, I had a Kermit in my throat. Um, does Piggy know? So if you guys want to check out Video Games Monthly, I have a link in the description below. Uh, you can check that out. It's very cool. It's very similar to Pop in a Box. You tell them what systems you're looking for games for, uh, and you know you can tell them what you have. You even have a wish list section. Mm -hmm. So they pretty much only send you stuff you're looking for, or at least stuff you, you don't have. Um, that is, if you're really good about updating your list, which you should be. I'm not, so my bad, my bad. Um, I also want to point out that I try when I can to play things on original hardware, but sometimes retro games just, just don't work that well. Like I had one I just could not get to play on my N64 last time, but the company is super cool, totally taking care of everything. They're marvelous. Mwah, manja. So, <laughs> I think that means a good thing. I hope that means a good thing. Um, <clears throat> I do do the 10 game subscription, but... I've got to say, and this is not a knock on the company, and I wanted to say it in the video because I know they watch the videos. I may actually cut this in half. Company's fine, but I just realized I'm kind of between this and the one other box. I'm I'm kind of getting way more retro games than I can actually play for fun. Um, I'm av that averages me to about like 15 a month. So, and I don't get to play every day. Right. But I mean, if you think about, it, even if I get to play every other day, only retro. That's like a game a day, and I don't want it to feel like work. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but I'm toying with the idea of cutting this one back, because I do really like it, but I'm getting a lot of retro games and I'm not getting to play them. <laughs> so, that being said, they've been really good and they've sent some awesome stuff, and I'm excited to get in here. We have another box that is poofing out a little now, bit. Is this the one that automatically updates what they send you? No. Okay. <laughs> maybe, but this, maybe a good idea. Well, that's, that's easier said than done. That's rebuilding a whole <laughs> internet system, so. But what they do do that the other guys don't do, and what okay. makes them cool in their own right, is they give you potential for winning bonus games. Oh yeah. Because if you remember, we got a partner, not a partner pack, but a power up pack last time. We got 13 games instead of 10, so. Oh yeah. And you get a little bonus item in here. So I think there's enough, it's different. The two companies are both really good. They're both different, but I think they, they do a good job for each other. All right, well I'm gonna pull out the cards and see if we won anything. I don't think we did. I think we just have the normal cards, but there's a lot of games in there, so. Oh, no, we got a power-up pack again. And it says mini free games again. So I, they used to have ones that are like one-up card, two-up card. I wonder if they're just doing this now and you don't know how many extras you're going to get. But Could be. awesome. And again, I love that, but it's funny. I just made the whole speech about too many games. <laughs> <laughs> and did I clarify, too, that um, don't hold it against the company if I can't get a game to work because they will fix whatever they can fix for you. But oftentimes with me, it's going to be more user error as I'm... Still relatively new to the retro gaming system and a lot of stuff I'm playing through Retron 5, which mm -hmm. can be iffy, you know what I'm saying? Or if it's Atari, the Retron 77, which I'm... I still need to give you my old Game Boy. It's giving me a lot of trouble. Yeah, oh, and then I have one more card, the normal Video Games Monthly card. So I'll let you read that real quick. You're just holding your Game Boy hostage so I give you a Switch. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Okay, there's a lot of games in here. I feel some <clears throat> tiny ones back there if we want to start with the with the little bitties and see where we go. Alright, what the hell is this? Oh, oh it's a, a pin. Oh, no, is it a pin? Oh, okay. I thought it was maybe a magnet, but... No, it's a pin. That's cool! So that's our specialty item for this time around. Just got their logo on it. That's pretty sweet. So It's better than, than a pin. <laughs> see what I did there? Because yeah. they gave us an ink pin. <laughs> this is why 10,000 people wah. love me. Even though five, six hundred of them watch these videos. <laughs> I assume by the time this video comes out, I'll be over 10,000. I'm nine away from hitting 10K right oh, now. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't tell me that sooner. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean a whole lot. I won't, I'll no longer be an Opal YouTuber. I'll be a bronze YouTuber. <laughs> and I have access to the creator space that we don't have anywhere near where I live. So, oh well. <laughs> Oh, so creator space is a, not software, but a physical No, place. yeah, there are physical locations YouTube owns with like stage space and stuff like that. Is and they have, kind of, they have a handful, I think it's a couple of states away, I can't oh, remember, Jesus. it's been a while. Um, so we got for the Game Boy Advance, Thunder Alley. Is that a racing game? I imagine, it definitely sounds like one, and in just a second they're going to be watching and finding out. Mm -hmm. So there is that. And um, I should say too, uh, currently signed, I meant to turn off Atari, but again, I'm late behind everything. But I'm signed up for Atari, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, N Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Sega Master System, 
uh, Famicom and Super Famicom. I believe those are all the systems I'm signed up for. I think you can do some PlayStation stuff. There's some disc-based stuff you can do with them as well. Yeah. But I'm not quite to that yet. But uh, Thunder Rally ought to be pretty cool. And again, if it doesn't work on my Retron, I'll record it off a screen of an actual Game Boy DS, because I did find my DS recently. Cool. It's a, it's a nice backup to have. I mean, obviously, I have, like, the newer DSs, but I'm talking the old one that actually plays Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> the model, the Generation 1. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Gen 1? Yeah, Gen 1. Because Gen 2 is... I don't, I don't have a joke. I was going to make a joke, but I don't have a joke. That's probably enough of that game. That's about a minute. Okay. All right. Let's, I think there's some more, if we still want to aim for that corner. Let's see what else we get. Again, I don't know anything about that game, so it's probably it's cool. Sticky. Oh. Oh. Wait. Dr. Mario? Oh, I know what I'm thinking. I'm like, wait, I have this. It's sticky. But I, <laughs> but I don't think I had it for Game Boy. I might have it for Game Boy. I don't I, know. I'm pretty sure we've, I've seen it before. I just don't. I know I got Did it. Did they make it for more than one system? Well, they made it for the NES. Uh. And apparently the Game Boy. So... <laughs> So I'm pretty sure I have it, and, and I, I remember playing it on NES, and I remember it took me a while to figure out how it's different from Tetris. But once I figured out, it's pretty fun. Because yeah. it's not about clearing the board so much, it's about clearing out the lines to get rid of viruses. the various viruses, yeah, and bugs and all that stuff, so... That probably be oh. that. Oh, yeah, and it's definitely like a Tetris, you know, where it's super, um... Fun to play and same to watch. Yeah. And, uh, your battery is... It's flashing. It's not dead yet. If it cuts off, that's, we'll just change the battery. We just okay. gotta keep our eye on it. We might be able to, I don't know, sometimes we might be enough to get to our break. That's probably good on, on Dr. Mario. Cool. Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. I'm gonna pull this one, but I'm counting. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's ten more in here, so that make twelve. Okay, so we're gonna go, okay. All right, yeah, six and six. So we got, oh, Killer Instinct. Didn't we just get a shirt? Or I didn't know they made that for Game Boy. That was a fighting game, right? Yeah. Yeah, actually on the um, Xbox One launch too, they kind of brought that back if I'm not mistaken, or am I thinking of something else? Although, looking at that cover art, it kind of reminds me of Al from Full Metal Alchemist. See, I haven't gotten to watch Full Metal Alchemist oh, yet, so. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, well there's a lot of animes that are so good I haven't gotten to. Um, but luckily, you're turning me on to a lot of them. It reminds me of a middle, uh, mid, mid, medieval knight, yeah. which I just today learned how poorly I've been spelling medieval. So I'm like, wow, that word is way different than I thought it was. It is one of those words, <laughs> yes. Medieval yes. <laughs> is, is how, you know, if you pronounce it phonetically. Um, I had you're a just whole... spelling it M-I-D-E-V-I-L. Yeah. And uh, my spell check wasn't catching it, and I noticed today, I was about to release a box where that was the theme, I had to redo all the text, because I was like, I had it misspelled everywhere. Well, that's again, that's why luckily I did it on a note, so I just had to go copy and paste. It was an easy fix, but just glad I caught it. But that ought to be pretty fun, you know, I mean, I'm, I like fighting games, they can be fun. Especially the older ones. The older ones seem to be a little bit easier. You don't have to remember as many button combos. Alright, so any more little ones? Yep. Yeah, I think there was one more. This is a Game Boy Advance. Advance. Yeah, Virtual oh. Tennis. <laughs> I thought it was a Tony Hawk. It has that, the logo has the look of a Tony Hawk game, if you ask me. No one asked me? All right, that's fine. And nothing on the back. This is not <laughs> sticky. Yeah, the other one was just where they had removed a price tag and it's mostly gone. Actually, it's so. a little sticky on top. Ew, now that's not a price tag. That's where somebody took out their, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and... A tennis game? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't recognize either one of these people. Are you sure that's not the Serena the Twins? It's really tiny. It's really tiny, but the thing is, I think this might have been before their time. Or have they been around that long? I feel like they've been around that long, but I could be wrong. I, I don't know jack about tennis yeah, outside of Mario here. Tennis. So I know more about tennis than you do because of Mario Tennis. So ha <laughs> ha! That wouldn't last. You know a lot more about a lot of things than me. <laughs> I played, uh, what was it, the, the tennis game on Wii, was, I think part of a Mario Party sort of deal. On Wii, is it French? <laughs> and I just found out the way to win is to just constantly like, oh. hit it as hard as you can the first time. Ah, uh, that sounds like Mario Tennis. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. All right, that's a tennis game. That's probably enough. You guys get the idea of tennis. So what is that? That's four. Let's see if we can get through two more before that battery dies. Is there any more times? A lot of those. I don't, not that I've found. Okay, a lot of those. All right, all right. So I guess we're gonna go through this stack of uh, these. Um, so, okay, cool. 
We have gotten Defender already. Have we? Or did I buy it? Again, not the company's fault. I am crap about keeping my lists together. I don't even have all my games together. I, I put them back in boxes and the boxes are spread everywhere. Then I have to go looking for things. And I mean, how long did we look for Jaws and finally find a box copy and buy it only for me to realize that day where my actual copy was? I mean, <laughs> this is also part of why um, I'm needing to scale back on the unboxings is because I don't have anywhere to put any of this stuff anymore and I need to get rid of this stuff and get things sorted and just figure things out. Yep. <laughs> I'm like overwhelmed with a tsunami of crate items in this place. Mm-hmm. Now luckily this is an Atari game that can play with the joystick controllers uh, if um, there's no audio or whatever. Again, I'm trying on the Retro 77 and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Not that Atari audio is all that great to begin with. Yeah, that's and also that's why I want to turn off Atari. I was excited about it because of the Retro 77 when I was first starting in. Like, I want to try all the consoles. <laughs> And I was like, this will be cool, Atari, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Atari. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's great for its time. But you know, by the time the, the NES came out and the Sega Master System, it's like, yeah, no thank you. <laughs> These games are way more fun. Luckily this is joystick controllers, though my paddle controllers do work. Yeah. And um, yeah, so hopefully you've had enough of boop, 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 purr. <laughs> so does that make six for us? No, we can do one more. I would go from that side, and then we'll uh, take us a quick oh, little break. Oh, that's because I pulled the... Right, yeah, the mag. The maganata. All right, so we got... Hey! Skydiver! Oh, I don't know about this one. Good, joystick I don't controllers. I not anything about that one either. I'm guessing it's try not to go splat. <laughs> Maybe people are shooting stuff at you, and you have to dodge it while you're flying down your parachute, because it looks like there's explosions and guns. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And, and oh, it nope. looks like you, you have a target to hit. And... Okay, yeah, I don't see explosions or guns. The explosion I thought I saw is actually his... Parachute. Okay. Parachute. But it does look to be streaming smoke. I don't know. Yeah. But you guys are seeing it, so hopefully you'll know. Hopefully you're seeing it. Who knows, you know. Yeah, here I am being like all relaxed and everything because I don't expect the camera to be on me and <laughs> watch be like, crap, this game doesn't work. I guess we're going to have to go back to us. I'm like... Yeah, that is sometimes the problem, <laughs> I know, right? That's right, I'll just cut to, I'll, I'll put I'll put the miracle face over <laughs> That's from Drunken Movie Night. You guys know what we're talking about. All right, so that's probably, I've probably failed at this game a couple of times by now, I guess. Um, if I recall, most Atari games don't take that long to play a quick little bout of. So, so far pretty good. Um, you know, I can't really complain. So, okay. cool beans. Well, right. um, that's half our box. We got another half to go. Yep. After these messages. We'll be right back. back. And we're back. Oh, those are some fun messages. Or three seconds of nothing. <laughs> All right, um, I know you went last, but if you want to start again, just to kind of get back on that roll, you're welcome to. All right, so. We got like about six more games. Yeah, got another Atari Ooh. video pinball. I might have had this one. This can be fun. Pinball games are fun. Basic or otherwise. And luckily it's another joystick controller one. Although I'm trying to think how that works. Because you have two flippers. But there's only the one button. Um, Am I going to have to use the joystick maybe? I would think maybe... It... Although that seems to show like multiple flippers. This could be interesting, y'all. Hopefully it looks interesting. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't look that interesting. It is an Atari game. It might be just a matter of left and writing left or something. Writing, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like the gesture you made though. <clears throat> Hopefully the game's working and only I get to see it. <laughs> she did it again. Oh, don't do it for real. Oh God, no. <laughs> she didn't, she, ow, you already cut me. <laughs> I didn't cut you, I snipped you. That's true, well you cut me with scissors. <laughs> Very, very tiny snip. Yeah. I mean. By accident. There's. <laughs> she says that, but I did just watch Gone Girl. <laughs> Sorry, she hasn't seen it yet, so I need to shut up. All right, so anyway, and again, I'm, jo I'm just giving her crap. She, it wasn't painful or anything. It's just a tiny, tiny little, you know, micro nick. But um, it's just fun to, to, to pick on. That's, that's, that's what we do. That's how we show we love each other. We like to pick on each other. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's probably enough of that one. Okay, those are gonna be cool. Those are gonna be cool. So I don't Don't we look. have Atari games? I think so. Again, I try not to say because I don't want to spoil the fun for other people watching. Just don't be looking for a second because I'm trying to I'm trying to stack things around so we can pull them out right. Okay, 
pull them out in the most interesting of fashions is the plan. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna pull this one. We've got uh, Famicom. Challenger. I like the art on that. Is that Cat? No, that's not Casper. Okay, so <laughs> knock off Indiana Jones. Yeah. Maybe a uh, side scroller of some sort. Yeah, I'd imagine this is a 2D platformer. Now again, with my Retron, it can put in the translation patch, but it's a pain to go find the right translation patch, so I'm not gonna do it. But I have a feeling this is not a game that I need to be able to read things. It is from 1985. Mm-hmm. Lots of little marker on it, but that's all right. Hopefully this is cool. I got a good feeling from that artwork. Sometimes the artwork just tells you, you know? Yeah. And I do like that it's like fake Indiana Jones with a fake Princess Leia. And yeah, some purple bad guy. Yeah, kind of a fake, almost uh, Skeletor-esque without the skeleton. Uh. <laughs> Serpentor's lair. I should do the drunken movie night thing. Sorry. Hashtag not Indiana Jones. Hashtag <laughs> not Princess Leia. Hashtag not Serpentor's lair. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Sorry about your dogs. Um, I moved stuff over here. If you want to just keep pulling from that side, I think that'll put us in a good order to all build right. to the best stuff. All right. So we got Dragon Ball Z. Um, uh, not sure which one. Do, have we gotten this one already? I do believe I've gotten that one before. <laughs> Again, I will say it every time. It's totally my fault. I am awful about keeping up There's your list. There's so many Dragon Ball Z games, I'm never entirely sure which yeah, ones Yeah, but that looks really have. familiar. And yeah, that's Raditz. So this one was actually really cool, though. And of course, I'll play it again. I'll give you fresh footage. But um, I assume it was just a fighter game. No, this was actually kind of a platformy thing. Um, this is retelling the beginning of Dragon Ball. Oh, really? Yeah, Raditz shows up and you gotta fly off and help and all this stuff. Uh, it was interesting. <laughs> Does it end with Raditz? No, I mean, it starts like. Okay, okay but so, so. I didn't you, get very far, so. so. Okay, so you potentially could get to the whole Vegeta thing. I think so, because um, I think I played somebody's save data after initially, and I think I was on Planet, Na Planet Namek, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think it takes you through the first few seasons at least. So it is a really awesome game. But you know, but again, at least, like I said, I've got enough local retro game yeah. stores that for me it's I'm not a problem. I'm surprised if they go that far if they're using Rads and not Vegeta. That, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm sure Vegeta's in there. I don't know. I, I just, I know one thing though. You, Gohan. Mm -hmm. He needs to learn to dodge! <laughs> <laughs> Team four star. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh, ooh, so cool. Is that Famicom? Or this is Super Famicom. Okay. But it's Super Mario Kart. I have a physical copy of Super Mario Kart. I have a bunch of fake copies between like the the NES Classic and or the Super NES Classic and and one of my um, uh, 3DSs or something included it. But this is actually gonna be awesome. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, this version of Mario Kart was <laughs> compared to the modern, more yeah. modern ones, obviously, but it's still pretty fun. This is the kind of Mario Kart you could, actually, no, you do pretty good at normal Mario Kart. So, I, you know, yeah. I was gonna give you crap, but no, you did pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's awesome though. I mean, if nothing else, this is a great piece just to have like as a collector, because anything Mario, I'm excited for. Dragon Ball, Mario, those are my jams when it comes to video, and Star Wars, those are my jams in horror games. Resident Evil. <laughs> Mario, Resident Evil, and now Dragon Ball. Oh, Mario, Resident Evil, Star Wars. Dra I like those games. <laughs> <laughs> but anything Mario is gonna be awesome to me. 1992. Mario is almost Star Wars level of nostalgia for me, so that's really, really cool. I, I feel like I need to talk. I got to play Mario on very rare occasion growing up. Oh, uh, we gotta fix that. Well, with your Switch, you will have your own Mario Kart. I've already set that up. And you should probably have Odyssey. I think you would like Odyssey. Because um, again, this, yeah. Oh God, now I wanna go play Odyssey. <laughs> I'm gonna try and give this one enough time though to hopefully have done a whole race. So I'm okay. gonna talk for a bit over this one, hopefully. Or maybe I shouldn't so you don't see me suck and, and lose really poorly. Hmm. Decisions, <laughs> decisions. <laughs> Yahoo! Wah, 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 wah! <laughs> it's me, Mario! <laughs> Yahoo! 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay, alright. <laughs> it's hard not to laugh while you're doing it. I that. know, that was actually pretty awesome. <laughs> we just made our own Mario remix of Girl from e the Plumber from Ipanema is the name of that remix. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I don't even care if anybody liked that. That was just fun. <laughs> See, people, this is why we love each other. Why we mean so much. We're so good together. <laughs> Stupid shit like that. That's what you want in a relationship. <laughs> that's how you keep each other happy. All right. Yeah. By now, I probably did a whole circuit. So that's awesome. All right. I believe I pulled that. Yeah. Uh, yes, you did. Actually, I don't think I did, but that's okay. You did. I'm pretty because I pulled this. I thought I pulled this. Oh, that's right, we had, okay, yep, nope, yep. <laughs> Can I pull the thing now? You don't even have to ask. <laughs> We've got uh, Squaresoft uh, Romancing uh, Romancing Saga 2. With, 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 with Kirk Douglas and Danny DeVito? I don't think that's Romancing the Stone. <laughs> You know, I was gonna say that would be an interesting game if they made it, and I think they did actually. I think this is an RPG. Oh boy. So I'm not gonna have a clue what I'm doing. Because he still won't download the patch. Well, that's the problem. It's not like the, doing the cheat code download was easy. It was one file you had to download mm -hmm. and install. But when it comes to the patches, it's like you have to know are you translating um, into English from the Japanese version or the French release version or this kind of stuff, then you have to find that patch and it's like, it's not... I think it's safe to say that you're translating from Japanese. No, no, it doesn't matter if the game is Japanese. Sometimes they, these carts can be French releases which have like a different code or something like that in there. Um, it's, it's, it's more complicated. Why would the French release be in Japanese? Yeah, but it still, it makes it because it's so Japanese. Confused. I know, I'm confused by it too, which is why I don't do it, because it's it's complicated. It's more complicated and convoluted than I find worth my time. Because if it's a French release, shouldn't it be in French? You would think. En français? Uh, ennui? That's dangerous. I don't know. Um, you know you know how we, you know who would know? Inspector Clouseau, that's... Does anybody even get that? Yeah, my audience will get that reference. I keep forgetting. I like to joke that, oh, it's all kids, but it's like, no, my audience is like my age. <laughs> they know what's up. I mean, we have some kids that can't hang around too, the really cool kids. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of them are my age and super cool. If you're watching me, you're super cool. Okay. Even if you're watching for her, you're still super cool. I get it. <laughs> That's probably enough of that one, considering yeah. I won't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> and maybe I'll have a nice long opener where you can just be... A nice long opener? <laughs> That is not what I said. <laughs> it almost is what you said, but it's not what you said. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, there's two to go. Oh! oh I have that on my computer. I remember, I think I might have too, or I played it on NES, but I remember this. I didn't this. have NES, I played it on my Apple. Yeah, Um. very cool. From it, Milton Bradley. Yeah, and it can be very tricky. Yeah. It's tricky to play Marble Madness. Tricky to play Marble Madness right on time. It's tricky. That is not a fun joke. If, if I remember correctly, it's one of those things where like the first few boards were pretty easy, and then uh, later boards would drive you completely insane. Where you're going, no, 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 I did not tell you to go that way. I did not. I did not tell you to go that way. Oh, hi, Marble. <laughs> it's bullshit. It's bougie? It's bullshit. <laughs> No, little boozy. He does the hot, hot sauce flavored potato <laughs> chips. Those were good in Munch Pack. I was, I was editing that today, so. Uh. Um, a little boozy. But yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. It's a fun game. It's yeah. cool and it's really clean too. This is like a barely used cartridge where they've done. Somebody played it a couple times. And went. Nope. <laughs> we screw this. It's good guys and get him. All right, well, I think we should get to the last game. And you know what the last game requires? Ooh, Lots of me singing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> You don't get to say, oh, no. You're supposed to yes, play I along. Do. <laughs> okay, you do. If, if you're going to <laughs> sing badly, yes, I get to say, oh, no. Uh, uh, I'm a kid in Walmart. I'm a yodeling kid. Stop. I did. Stop. 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 <laughs> 
Okay, we got Donkey Kong Country. Ooh. Did we get this? No, no, that's like a, that's a get. That's okay. one that's like not a cheap two three dollar game. I mean, oh. I'm not saying it's super expensive, but it's it's one of those that usually if you if you go to like a half price books, they have the games that are just on the shelf, and they have mm. the games in the glass case. This is one they put in the glass case. This is really clean. It is. That's a really good copy. Oh wow, I thought I saw some sticker damage, but I don't. It was just a trick of the light. Yeah. I mean, there's some minor like just kind of scratches, not paint scratches, but like, you know, catch the reflection. Yeah, but other than that, this is darn near pristine. Yeah. Wow. And I'll probably play it on the Retron 5. I do have a Super Nintendo I could do, but if I only have one Super Nintendo game and I've already got the Retron 5 hooked up, I'm just gonna do it on the Retron so 5. So I'll play on the original machines when I can, except for when it's not convenient. Yeah, that should that should be my statement, I suppose, um, to be honest. But I mean, come on, out of 12 games, I'm, do I really, am I really gonna hook up a system? I don't know, I haven't one? seen like it takes to hook up all this stuff for you. Cause I'm never around when you play. That's true, it's, it's digging through piles of crap and reconnecting multiple things. At least with the Retron, I just got to plug in a power source and an HDMI. Uh -huh. With this, I got to plug in a power source, then I got to plug in the um, the SD cables into the Frame Meister. I have to power the Frame Meister, and then I have to connect that HDMI in. And I have to set it to the right input. <laughs> I have a question. When you're doing all this, are you also recording the game audio, and is that overplaying over us talking? Yes, but I like pull the music out that we normally play. Okay. So I mean, they can hear it. They can hear okay. us. They can hear us fine, so. So, that just tells you I never watch these videos. <laughs> yeah, don't I feel loved. Now there's one or two though that you do watch sometimes, but it's usually, it's usually because you've done something and you're curious how it comes across or something <laughs> like that, I don't know. No, but again, you know what, that's one of the first things I learned as a YouTuber. Here's a little helpful piece of advice. The most freeing and best thing I ever did to grow a YouTube channel, not that I'm like some superstar, I'm just saying this is just my experience, is don't try to sell it to your friends. If your friends want to watch it, they'll watch it, but don't pester your, and don't get mad if your friends don't watch and stuff. And like, I hate to say it, but some friends of mine that are running YouTube channels right now, one of them put out like a Facebook page and he's like, hey, let's all drop our YouTube channels in the thing below and everybody subscribe to everybody and, and like a video and stuff. And I'm thinking, I, I've got enough bot slash dead subscribers now. I don't, I don't want, it's not a, it's not a healthy thing for your channel. Yeah. You want people to subscribe that are going to engage with your content. You don't just want them as a number. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, I have a lot of those, but that's where I jerked around with my format and did vlogs for a while and all kinds of stuff. You know, I was like, let me try this, let me try this, let me try this. So. Jack of all trades, master of none. No. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Except unboxings. I'm a king. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being sarcastic, people. Except I'm crying at Star thing. Wars trailers. There we go. There you go. That's where I. That's what I own on YouTube. No one cries at a Star Wars trailer like I do. I actually feel completely confident saying that. Oh, have you heard about the new? Uh, show? Yeah, Cassie and Andor. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be I'll awesome. Yeah, I'll watch that. Oh, I'll watch the hell out of that. Especially if they put them together with Java, because I just. I know see everybody him. wants to see him with Java. So hopefully Donkey Kong looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we weren't talking He's about thrilled. it. Thrilled. Oh, uh, now Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I've been loving on the Switch, so. All right, so there you guys go. That was a really awesome Video Games Monthly. And again, like I said, you know, I, I probably, because this is a lot of games. It is a lot. And I don't have a lot of time. And maybe you actually keep up with your list. Yeah, so if I do, I'm sorry. Like, I feel bad because the company's really cool and they've been really nice to me and they comment, you know, but it's like, I think they'll understand. Um, but again, it could be worse. It's, I'm not getting rid of the box. I just Ooh. need to scale it back. There's a lot of boxes I'm like, yeah, I'll just get rid of it. Loot Crate! Oh, I'm sorry, I had something in my throat. I meant to say loot crate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm not getting rid of the box. I just might need to legitimately scale back for practical reasons. Mm -hmm. All right, but let us know. What did you guys think of this box? Are you excited for this? Which of these games is your favorite? I think this is gonna be my favorite to play, honestly. So I'm glad we opened that one last. Although, mm, Super Famicom Mario Kart, that, that's awesome too. Uh, but let us know. Geek out with us in the comments. We do love to hear your thoughts on these things. I would actually be curious about the Dragon Ball one. Yeah. I haven't played that one. And Marvel Madness, just, that would be nostalgia for me. Well, you know, if you look at my other retro gaming videos, you can see. <laughs> yeah, send me the link to that one, huh? Okay. Crap, which one was it? <laughs> exactly. All right. So comment away. Let us know. Click the thumb of encouragement. We do love to be encouraged. Um, sorry, it's that, that loot crate in my throat. It just tastes like vomit. <laughs> Shots fired! Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> oh, here's a bridge. Let me burn it. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> That's what they get. 
We're gonna go open up more stuff. We'll see you all later.